Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faith and I create reseller content to help you grow your reselling business. Today, I'm going to be doing a Poshmark closet review. So a couple videos back, I pinned a comment on my video asking for people who wanted to volunteer to have me review their closets in this video. And I'm so excited. I'm going to be sharing you know my tips and giving feedback on people's closets i have a whole list of disclaimers though before we get started but if you guys enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe maybe i can do more of these if you're interested then i'll put a comment down below and you can leave your poshmark closet and i can kind of make this into a series so let's get into the video so let's start with the disclaimers that i mentioned so i just want to lay out a couple of things so so first of all, I'm going to be super nitpicky. I'm going out of my way to find constructive advice in these closets. So it doesn't mean that these closets are bad that I'm reviewing. I'm just literally going in a fine tooth comb being nitpicky trying to find things areas of improvement. Second of all, no one's closets are perfect. If you go into my closet, some of the things that I'm about to recommend as tips for improvement in some of these closets, I also could take my own advice and also work on. Another thing I want to share is not everyone is a full-time reseller. Some people are part-time. Not everyone has the same amount of time to dedicate to their Poshmark closet. And also not everyone has the same amount of inventory available in their area. So you're, it's really not fair to compare everyone to the same scale. Also, I totally understand that all of us have items in our closet that maybe are from when we first started reselling a year ago. I know I definitely have some of those pieces in my closet that I'm not proud of that they are there, but I'm trying to sell them. I can just remove the listing because it's something I don't want to sell. Like I'm going to still keep it up there until it sells. So I understand that maybe some of these people might have items that are from the beginning of their reselling journey and it's not really where they want to be and they may not they may already know that so with all of those things being said let's get into the closet reviews okay so the first closet that i'm going to review is k she's at every day with k on poshmark all right now let's scroll in and see what kind of items she's selling first off i love those toy birch flats super cute um love that cardigan sweater too uh, let's see so it looks like there's there's not a, there's nothing wrong with the item she's selling, but it seems like there isn't like a clear customer in mind with the items that she's picking up. There's kind of a wide range of kind of styles and brands that we have available here. The pictures are pretty good. There's not really a cohesive feel. Like all the pictures are kind of different. There's some stock photos. There's some photos on the hanger and, um, I mean, it, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I think maybe just it could be tidied up a little bit to have all of the pictures look super cohesive. And then, yeah, like I said, maybe just having more of a customer in mind when sourcing inventory. I like that there's a wide range of prices, too. Like, she has some higher-end items and also some lower-price items that could encourage multiple... Um, purchases from one customer like bundle purchases if you have a lot of um, kind of a mixture of price ranges her titles look really good let's see when's the last time she shared her closet oh two days ago okay so okay you definitely could share your closet some more that definitely is going to help increase sales i recommend sharing your closet three times a day at the minimum but the more you share your closet the more your items are going to go to the top of search so they're actually going to be seen by buyers when they're searching for specific items so i highly recommend like the minimum that you should share your closet is three times a day all right let's go to her sold listings and see what buyers are interested in from her so if i'm looking at this honestly it's interesting. I mean, aside from these two men's pieces, I feel like if you look at her sold page, people are buying kind of the same like style, in my opinion. It seems like, like if you look at all of these, I think all the pictures look very similar and cohesive and all of the styles kind of look the same as well compared to her available page. I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Like, 
like all of these could be worn by kind of like the same person so i really think you have something like you could really go off of here looking at all of your like sold style and like kind of what brands are selling and really kind of try to hone in on that and also i see that most of the items that are sold are items with stock photos so i would highly recommend downloading google lens and trying to kind of up your stock photo game because it looks like most of your solds have the stock photos i mean not all of them obviously oh this is like a cool this michael kors how you did that with the purse with that plant that'd be cool to have all of your flat lays kind of like that like with your purses to add more cohesiveness oh i love this matching set i would totally wear that okay so my final advice for Kay is to really dial in into curating kind of a style and having an ideal customer for your or for your closet and kind of thinking like okay what does she wear what brands does she wear what styles does she wear and what sizes i mean i recommend having a whole range of sizes but you get where i'm going with this and really kind of try to dial in on that also more consistency with your photos i highly recommend it looks like you have a lot of things selling with stock photos and i think you have some good stock photos that you have found already so i think that would be a huge tip for your closet is maybe just having all stock photos or all hanging pictures with like kind of a signature style to them and then also definitely share your closet more that is going to help with your sales like so so much that's the number one thing I think you could do. You do have a good amount of listings though, so that's great. Um, and then also, I mean, I love that you have some higher priced items and some lower priced items, but I really challenge you as well to kind of try your hand at picking up some more higher end items that match what your ideal customer is looking for and what brands that she wears. So when I think that really, really does this well is the Deal Queen. Let me show you what her closet looks like. So the deal queen is like the queen of having her customer nailed down. She knows what brands she's buying. She knows the price range. She knows the styles. And if you kind of look at her stock photos, you can not only are they all stock photos, but they all look very consistent because they're most of them are from like Revolve or similar websites. So they all kind of have the same style of stock photo. You know, when you're looking up a uh, an image for like a piece and you see the stock photo you know for sure like oh that's a revolved stock photo if you start picking up kind of the same items you're gonna find similar stock photos and that's really gonna help the look of your closet when people are scrolling so this is the deal queen's poshmark closet and if you can tell she is the queen at having a very curated style you can tell that all of these items would be liked by her ideal customer and uh, most of them are from revolve you see these all these revolve stock photos there's a reformation one that's another uh, brand if you pick up a lot of reformation all the stock photos look the exact same so the deal queen is someone that i definitely follow i look at her closet often kind of see like what brands she's picking up because she is someone that i look up to so much and would definitely try to model my business after so this is what i'm kind of talking about when i'm referring to your ideal customer and having consistent photos and kind of a curated closet kind of a contrasting closet that i want to also show you guys is denali's closet el ducho you probably know her she focuses on liquidation so when you're doing liquidation you don't really have a huge say on the brands that you're picking up i mean you can know that you're probably having like mostly nordstrom brands or mostly like brands from another department store but you really can't hand select the items that you're picking up however even though that's the case with El Ducho you can still see that her closet looks super consistent with her photographs even though she has a wide range of kind of brands and she doesn't necessarily have an ideal client because she's not hand selecting her items she's more in the volume game which maybe some of you are if you don't have a passion for that kind of stuff or you would rather just sell lower priced items the the best thing that you can do though, if that is your strategy, is to have all your photographs look the exact same. So if we're looking at El Ducho's closet, you see that, yeah, maybe it's not a curated style, but look how clean and consistent all of her photographs are. Photographs are like the most important thing in a closet. So I love that even though she's not hand selecting these items, she's still, it looks like it's like a company website where all the photos kind of look the exact same. I would guess that potentially she also removes the background from 
some of the stock photos so that they all have a white background. That's just a guess, I have no idea. But it looks so, so clean and clear that all the stock photos look the exact same, even though she's not hand selecting these items. So first off the bat, going off of that one closet, here's two great examples of what it's like to have a curated closet and a non-curated closet, but yet still being able to have consistency in your photographs and on your own personal closet. All right, the next closet that I'm going to review is Free Pre-Loved. So I'm on her closet right now. And if I look at this first row, it all, just on the first row, it looks super curated. All these brands kind of go together as far as like the kind of person who would buy them. And I love all the stock photos. When you scroll down, there kind of is some more variation of like the brands and the styles and also the photographs. And then we get to a chunk here where it's more vintage. Now, there's nothing wrong with either selling vintage or contemporary. I personally, in my opinion, think it's better to kind of choose one or the other or kind of have like just sprinkle in maybe a couple of the other one but have the majority of your closet be one or the other. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing both, but like I said, if we're going back to what I talked about a little bit earlier, I think it's really great to kind of have similar items of what people are looking for. Oh my gosh, this is a cute dress. Some days loving talk and flight boho midi dress. I don't know, that's cute. Um, oh, this is cute too. Uh, Joanna Ortiz. I've actually never heard of that brand before. It's an H&M collab. See, like, okay, 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 this is good. We're on a roll here. So remember I said the first row, I really enjoyed that the same customer probably liked those. I think the same goes for this row right here. Like, you are onto something with the style here and the kind of brands and styles that you're picking up. It doesn't matter the price range. Like, all this stuff is amazing because it all, like, it all is the same kind of style and, like, the same kind of personality. I absolutely love that. Um, okay, so... Back to what I was saying, it, I think it's great. You see how this like this right here, this embroidered floral top, it doesn't really fit with the other stuff. There's nothing wrong with either of them. They just kind of don't go together in the same thing. And I understand that maybe you just want to like sell things. Maybe this is from like your personal closet, like who the heck knows. But if I'm being like super particular and nitpicky and I'm trying to give you constructive feedback, I don't know. I would say really stick to either one or the other. Your vintage pictures are good as well. Um, there's, yeah, they're both good. I think just sticking to one or the other would be really great. Uh, let's see when the last time you shared your closet was. One day ago. So I definitely think you could benefit from sharing your closet a lot more. I'm telling you, sharing your closet and listing items is what's really going to push your sales. All right, so let's see. It looks like you have a good amount of items listed, so that's amazing. Let's go through and see what your solds look like. And along with like having similar items, if you notice the vintage pictures have different, um, are just like different than the contemporary ones. It's not just the style and the brand. Also, you're using stock photos versus your own photos, which is fine, but it'd be nice to have more like consistency in the background of your pictures, if that makes sense. All right, so going to your solds, it looks like for the most part, it looks like for the most part, people are really going towards your contemporary brands more. And it looks like those are the higher priced items as well. For the most part, obviously, I'm just like doing a quick scan here. But I really think like this J. Crew top is super cute too. This is Star Label and the, all these Wrangler mom jeans. Girl, you got some really great stuff. I would really lean into that style right there because you really have something good going for you there. If you could get all of your items looking like that and having like the same kind of style of photo on all of your listings, like I, you could have looks, your closet is already great, but you could take it to the next level. That is super amazing. It looks like you have a good range of prices too. I mean, you have some higher priced items and some like medium and lower price items. So that's really great. So that would be my feedback for you. I'll show you guys a closet of a vintage seller. She's actually a personal friend of mine. She does a great job of selling vintage. If you want to see a kind of an example, I showed you what a contemporary curated closet looks like. This is a great example of what a vintage curated closet could look like for you. So she has 
kind of she's all similar like vintage items she does model all her stuff you don't have to model your stuff as long as your pictures look the same and are, you have consistency in your closet but i think this is a great example she has of selling of being like a vintage clothing seller i absolutely love all of her stuff and you can tell even though they don't all have the back same background she's mainly a depop seller but i'm just showing you her poshmark closet so all of her depop if i'm not mistaken has these colorful backgrounds but she um you know is also on poshmark so but yeah, this is a great example of what vintage could look like for you if that's where you are passionate in. So I think we have some big takeaways from this video that we've seen consistently throughout everyone's closet and that I think that most of you who are watching this video can really take and run with for your own closet. First one being having a brand and having a closet that stands out like a personal brand and having a closet that stands out is something that's really going to help you differentiate yourself amongst other resellers the way you can do this is by picking up similar brands that the same kind of person wants to buy really honing in on who your ideal customer is what that person wears what brands what styles and really sticking to that and having consistency in the pieces that you are picking up because that's going to have people become repeat buyers and also it's going to promote bundle sales because the same person is going to see one item they look they like and then they're going to keep scrolling they're going to see another one they like they're going to keep scrolling and pick up another one because it all kind of matches what that person wants and it's okay to be super specific with this you're going to make more sales really catering to one single person than you are trying to cater to a broad audience the next takeaway I think we've gotten is pictures are everything. Not only the quality of your pictures, obviously you want very clear, like high quality images, but also consistency in your feed. Now, not everything needs to look the exact same, but I would argue that you really should, I don't have this yet, I'm working towards this, so I'm not like saying I'm perfect, but I think everyone should really move towards having consistency in all of your clothing pictures and then consistency in like your bags, accessories, and shoe pictures. So I think for the most part, we're all gonna have like flat lays for shoes and for purses and whatnot. And then you can kind of choose whether you want to model your clothing pictures, do flat lays or hang them on a hanger. Whatever one of those you choose, I recommend sticking with it, having the same background, maybe having a background that sticks out and is really specific to who you are as a seller so that when people are searching for items, maybe they'll see your picture and recognize it right away like oh that is a voyage as a verb picture i'm gonna go check out her closet that's really how you're gonna build a personal brand and that's how you are really going to build up a loyal customer base and then also make sure you guys are sharing your closets i highly recommend sharing your closet three times a day at least and if you are at that stage and you want to definitely hire a va or look into automation to have your closet shared more often because that has for me personally really really helped my business grow listing a lot and having my sh closet shared a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and also i will pin a comment down below requesting closets to review maybe in a part two if you're interested if you are definitely comment your closet down below and i will make a part two to this video so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next one